Setting a baseline is your original project's plan, and it's used to compare against or track changes made when the project has begun. It includes task, resources, assignments, and cost estimates. In other words, after you complete your project plan and before you actually begin entering in your actuals or starting the project, you can save a baseline or take a snapshot, as it were, to track specifically the task duration, start and finish dates, and the cost. So again, you can tell later on whether or not you've deviated from your baseline, and if so, by how much. So to go ahead and take a snapshot or to set the baseline, come up here, click on the Project tab, go to the Schedule group, click on Set Baseline, and of course once you set it, you can also clear it. Let's click Set. Now you have additional baselines you can set. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you just have the original plan set right here for your project, and you're doing an analysis when you completed the project, you're going from the original plan to the end and you're like, wow, how do we get to $50,000 um, over budget? And you want to be able to break that down. Maybe throughout the project you can go ahead and take additional snapshots and get a little bit more detail at what point you actually jumped up. Or maybe it wasn't at a particular point, but incrementally. Still, when you take all these many snapshots here or baselines, you set them. You can say at baseline 5, we increased by 2,000. Then at this point in the project, or halfway through baseline six, wow, that's where we took off. Instead of going from the original plan all the way to when the project completes, you can break them up here. So to keep it simple, let's just go ahead and take a snapshot or set the baseline for the original project here, the plan, and just go ahead and click OK. Now, no dancing clown comes out and says, hey, look, you just saved me. Just know that it's been saved. How can you tell if it's been saved? Well, one way to find out or to see the baseline is to come up here and click on the Format tab go to the bar styles group and there you go baseline click on the drop down arrow and again you can view as many as you saved at what point during the project but this was at the beginning or that's what I recommend it was last saved on today's date of course you can go ahead and save it again and overwrite this if you'd like or clear it and then at some point you know save it when you're ready so if I go ahead and select that notice over here in the Gantt chart that you've got two bars now you have your original blue and then you have your gray baseline so you can compare the blue against the gray and go, hmm, they're together. Those are, well, looks like they're together, together, together. As opposed to being off, for example, if I come over here and I say, okay, with interviewing subject matter experts, it now takes two days and hit enter. It stays the same, the original plan, but everything's been pushed over by one day. So you can see how it slipped, okay? You can hover over one of these and say, okay, the baseline, the original plan was for this task, the 17th, and now it's starting, let me click off and hover over the blue, on the 20th. Wow, that's a major slippage here, okay? So you get the idea where you can compare the original plan against what's happening as you go through your project here. In fact, when it comes to entering in actuals or marking that these tasks have been completed here, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can right click and come over here in the mini formatting toolbar and mark it at 100% or click on the drop down arrow and choose, uh, well, 75, 50, 25 percent, but if you want to go to something a little bit more detailed, like maybe uh, 26 percent, then let me go ahead and click off here. Come up here, click on the View tab. Let's go to the Split View group and go to the Details to bring up our task form down below, and we can say for Examine Software, you also get the percentage complete right here. We can type in 100 percent, hit Enter, and you can see over in the uh, Indicator column in the Entry table, you got a check mark that says the task was completed on Tuesday, okay? And then we can go to the next one, either select that or let me go to previous and click next and it brings us down. We can say that one's going to be 75, hit enter. We can go next and say this one's 10%, hit enter. And notice over here in the uh, Gantt chart, these black bars represent the percentage complete. So at a glance you can say, wow, the black bar goes all the way across. That means it's completed. Over here it's about halfway, and you can see when you hover over it in the pop-up it's 75%, and uh, well, gosh, if I can hover over that one, it would say 10%. For a brief second it did pop up. You can pause the video and go back and try to get it to the, the millionth of a second that it did pop up. In any case, there you go. Now, another way to go ahead and view the details or to compare your baseline against the project and your actuals, meaning that when you actually start completing the task here, you can come up here, click on the Project tab, go to the Properties group, click on Project Information, come down here, click on Statistics, and you have your current, your baseline, your actuals, and your variance. So you can see we're off by one day. 
In other words, the baseline was supposed to finish project on the 12th. That was our original plan. But because we added an extra day, well, we bumped it out, so we varied by a day. Okay. And then down below, you got your duration, work, and cost. Uh, currently, we're at 31 days. The original plan was 30. And then you can see for the work and the cost there as well. And then actuals, when we start completing tasks, right now we have 5.77 days. How does that work? Well, let me click and drag the uh, title bar for the window down. And as you recall, this one's completed. That one's five days. That one was 75%, and that was 10%. So it added the five days plus 75% of the next task being completed. It works out to be 5.77 days, okay? And then the remaining days that you have left, and then the percent completed for the duration, and then for the total uh, man hours, we're at 18%, okay? Cool. Go ahead and close out. Now, if you want to go ahead and print off a report of this, a summary report that includes your baseline and your actuals, well, watch the next training video. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, task form here by hovering over the split bar there and double-clicking really fast. It disappears. And there are other ways that you can go ahead and view your baseline, not just in graphic view here, but if you come over and I right-click on the view bar and go to the task sheet view, Notice how I've got my start and finish dates, and we can go ahead and compare those against our start baseline and our finish baseline. So if I want the start baseline next to the start column, I can after it right click on the column there and go down to insert column. And let's do, let's see, base, type it in line, and then you got a lot of baselines here, but we want the start date for the baseline, not baseline one start or baseline two start, but just the original baseline start, select that. And then you can go ahead and compare your start dates to the baseline. And is there any changes here? Oh, there we go, right here for the outline phase. The baseline says it was supposed to start on the 13th, so what subtask is the culprit? Well, it's right there. Create outline. It starts on the 14th instead of the 13th, and then it threw everything off. Oh, that was horrible. Okay. And you can see it says baseline. If you hover over to the right-hand side, you can see the pop-up. Well, you can hover over right on it. You can see the pop-up baseline start. You can click and drag it out, and then you can see the rest of the uh, name for that column label, baseline start. And then to get rid of it, go ahead and right-click on it and say hide. Okay. You can do that to any table. If you want to add an additional field, it just made sense for me to do it in the task sheet view here when I wanted to compare my baseline start, original start dates to what I have going on now. I'll go ahead and right click and go back to the Gantt. You've got the baseline here. If you want to go ahead and remove it, you don't want to see it, come up here on the format tab and click on the baseline and uncheck it so you don't see it. And you can check it to see it again and then to clear it, go back to the project tab. Click on the set baseline to clear baseline. And it says you want to clear the baseline plan that was last saved here for the entire project. Go ahead and click okie dokie, and it's gone. Okay, no more baseline. Well, let's go ahead and undo that because we'll need a baseline, at least to compare against uh, when we want to print out our project summary report, which is the next training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.